Hi, it's Maisie Williams here, and today I'm going to be sharing some of my beauty secrets and recreating Jordan Muni's infamous Mondrian makeup look. I'm going to start with a cleanser. I'm gonna use like about this much. My skin is really temperamental and I'm having a really good spell at the moment. But I mean, I can pull up some of the receipts because I struggle really badly with acne. I still have some scarring. I have this, which I travel with, which is really good. I typically find my products through like skin talk <laughs> uh, on TikTok. I do have one little spot just here. You click the button and it stays on for three minutes. The biggest tip that I would have for anyone struggling with acne is just to listen to your own skin. And there's lots of great advice from all different people, but at the end of the day, everyone's skin is different. Actually, I found that to heal my skin, I had to do less and try to stop stripping all of the good oils. The SPF is the most important step. I've got this really great one from Ilia. It's got a bit of colour in it as well, so sometimes I'll just double this up as a foundation too. I have an older sister, she's five years older than me, and she would always have all of her makeup out on the floor and then she'd go to school and I would go up and like open the bedroom door and just like see all of this makeup. I've never told her this actually. And then I would put it all on before primary school when I was like 10. And I remember teachers and like mums being like, your face is very shimmery. If you put makeup on and I was always like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. But my sister really taught me how to do makeup and she would always do my eyeliner for me and I learned from her and my love kind of came from watching her and then stealing her makeup. So today I want to pay homage to a woman called Jordan Mooney and she really used her body as a canvas and when I think about my icons growing up, Lady Gaga, um, she, you know, kind of represented that but it's interesting to learn about Jordan because she was doing it a long, 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 long time ago. I really, really love the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. I always have struggled to find my correct colour. I think like what Rihanna did, generating so many different tones, I think has just like been hugely beneficial to a lot of women. Jordan would party like long into the night and her makeup would never ever move. Every image that is out there of her with this makeup look was just like flawless. And so I feel like a couple of layers, a couple of different like formulas um, definitely helps making sure that it will like stay all night. Now I'm going to do a little bit of concealer just to brighten up under my eyes. My under eyes don't actually really bother me, like they are quite dark, but for this look we want a blank canvas. So I have this other Ilia product. I bleach my eyebrows nearly every day. I did them just this morning. Jordan didn't have any eyebrows and when I first met her, um, she goes, so how do you feel about waxing off your eyebrows? And I was like, yeah, of course, like, absolutely. And then I was speaking to our makeup artist and she said, you don't need to do that, we can bleach them instead. And I've kind of just been loving it ever since. There's a lot of freedom to like the way that you can sculpt your face. So the only thing to do is really just to kind of like stick them down. I'm just going to wet this with a little bit of soap. It makes the hairs like a little bit brighter as well, which I, I like. I'm just gonna do a little bit of sculpting, but I just use this little Glossier cloud paint. I spent the beginning of my career playing Arya Stark on Game of Thrones. The makeup on that was really just like fake dirt and they would like put the makeup dirt like under my fingernails. It wasn't the most glamorous. I mean, it was perfect for her. She was such a scruffy urchin. <laughs> I sometimes do my eyes as well. Kind of like a one product for everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a little bit of this Laura Mercier powder. 
This was Jordan's infamous Mondrian makeup look. I had this done to me every day for about three months. I will start with eyeliner, Charlotte Tilbury. So it just starts with a line across my eyebrow here. One thing that I had to do with Jordan was not be so expressive. Like I'm such a eyebrow wiggler. <laughs> I had to remember not to move my face too much, otherwise it would completely change the look of the makeup. The next is a line that kind of follows the cheekbone. Jordan actually did an original prototype of this makeup and it matched the Mondrian paintings more honestly, but because her face wasn't like a flat canvas, then she decided to like start to change the angles of it a little bit. It's different on my face than it was on Jordan's, but trying to match it as closely as possible. I love to experiment with makeup and I always have. I grew up doing dance performances and I feel like anyone who did that is always like doing their own hair and makeup and like crazy show makeup. So I really kind of fell in love with using my face as a canvas. There's a line that goes straight from here and it connects down to here. Typically would do that with the same pencil, but I find that it like smears a little bit too much. So I'm gonna actually go in with a different product, which is a liquid eyeliner and it's just the Glossier Pro Tip. She also had this like beautiful sort of smudged black eyeliner. I try and get it as close to my lashes as possible. And then just a little bit of pencil. I used to wear eyeliner all the time. That was like my go-to makeup look. I'd put it like all on my waterline and then I'd use a white eyeliner and I'd put it like on the top. That was the first makeup look that I ever used to do. But now I usually just use it like with a little brush or something and I'd like put it in the corners. The last step before the red is to connect this line to the bottom of the triangle. So the final step is to add red eyeshadow. I have this product which is from Urban Decay. I love it because you can use it on your cheeks and your lips and I'm going to use it all over my face. So I just dab it in rather than painting it. I think that it actually gives a bit of a smoother finish. The final Mondrian line kind of matches this one but it's a little bit lower on the other eyebrow and it's just done solely with the red. This makeup look was, is definitely the most extreme makeup look I've ever had done. It was so interesting to just see myself look like Jordan. And I changed my voice and I changed the way I stood and walked. Even for Jordan when she was on set and she sort of saw me on camera for the first time, people told me that she was like, quite taken aback. The final thing is the lips. So I just have a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. As you can see, I've been practicing. I'm going to use the same product. I'm just gonna clean up with a little bit of concealer. I find doing makeup to be really relaxing. I find it to be like an art activity. Our mood is so linked to what we see in the mirror. So it's kind of fun sometimes to just paint something completely new and different. We're gonna use Ilia and just do some mascara. I'm just gonna put some little clips in. It's kind of like more of a mazy thing to do. I started bleaching my hair on this job while I was playing Jordan. Um, just to hide my hair in with the, the wig and also just because like any excuse, you know, it's kind of fun to do something different. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and go and give this makeup look a try. <laughs>